My name is Jim, and we're going to be talking about shop fests today on Lumanjaro. Usually, I like doing reviews about something exciting, like nice big power tools, you know, big circular saws and stuff like this. But while those can be helpful and are very useful in the shop, things like this shop fest are also very useful and something that isn't very discussed very often, but it can be tremendously helpful in the shop. So there's a couple reasons why I really like having a shop vest. You may have noticed I started wearing this about a year ago, and there's a couple reasons why I did that. The first reason was because I kept ruining my clothes. So I'd be down here in the shop working on something, and either I'd cut my shirt, or I'd get some oil on it, or something like that, or my shorts, and end up ruining a pair of clothes, and that didn't make me real happy about that. So I thought this would be a good way to protect my clothes and also protect myself. The other main benefits to it, though, is that it holds all of the stuff that I have. So you can see I've got a whole bunch of different stuff in here. I've got pencils, which are super useful, rulers, a little rag, tape measure, a knife, glasses, and a marker. And I keep all this stuff in here all the time. Now this one in particular has a lot of pockets on it, and that can be useful, but it can get very heavy if I keep if I fill it all up with all stuff. So I try to only keep small things in there and only things that are fairly light. I don't usually have a hammer on it. I don't usually have a cordless drill on it, uh, stuff like that. I usually leave those around. I try to only keep small things, this tape measure being probably the largest, but things like this scale that are super handy to have, and if I don't have it on me, it'll be somewhere in the shop and I'll be lost. Before I used the shop vest, what I would usually try to do was just to have you know, pencils laying all over the shop so that wherever there, wherever I was, there would always be a pencil that I needed. However, that ran into a couple problems. First, I really like this pencil, and there would always be like a different style of pencil because I just got a bunch of random pencils nearby. And then there would always be these pencils all over the place that were just in the way and everything. So I ended up putting them in the shop vest. Works much easier. It also means that I can have my tape measure that I really like, my good knife, and a pair of safety glasses always right with me, right where I need them, and makes me a lot more useful, a lot more likely to use things like safety glasses because they're right here. So it's very convenient if I'm just going to turn on the, the saw or something, just grab them out of my vest and start wearing them. So you may already have a tool belt like this, or you may be thinking, what's the difference between a tool belt and an apron like this? Why would you want one or the other? There's really two main differences. The first is that this will offer you some protection up here. This one is heavy canvas. There's other ones that are thick leather. And that's going to protect you if you're at a mill and it's spraying hot chips at you, or if you're doing some foraging and you're getting lots of sparks kicked up. Now, obviously it doesn't cover everything, but it does help up here. And like I said before, it will protect your clothing somewhat and prevent you from getting oil and other stuff on your clothes themselves. So that's a benefit. The fact that it has extra area up here to put stuff, I don't really see it as a benefit. Um, yeah, it's got more capacity than just a tool belt here, but if you load this tool belt up, you're going to have more stuff on you than you really want to be carrying around anyway. Um, if you're going to be wearing this apron all the time, you don't really want 20, 30 pounds worth of stuff in it all the time. The other thing is, although it's got space up here, if you're going to bend over, depending on what it is, like if I put this scale in this pocket here where it's pretty loose, it just falls out when I bend over. So you can't really use a lot of the top pockets to their full extent because you have to worry as you bend over, you're going to uh, be dropping things. Now, I also like the apron because it has shoulder straps here. I find that a little more comfortable than the belt. I think that the, the weight is a little more evenly distributed with an apron than a belt. But it does have the drawback of because it covers up here, it is a little bit hotter to wear. And you do have slightly less mobility. It's not a super big deal. But if you're going to be climbing around all day, a belt is a little bit easier to wear. And if you're going to be outside on a hot roof or something like that, you don't want this extra area over here covering you up, making you hotter when you're already outside in the heat anyway. So if you're downstairs in a shop, I think an apron is definitely a better solution, and I think they're great to wear in a shop space that's air-conditioned and cooled all the time. What should you be looking for in an apron? So this particular one is made by Arsenal. It's of a pretty thick canvas. Leather ones are a little bit nicer. They're going to be a little hotter, offer you a little more protection, be a little more durable, but they're also going to be more difficult to, to clean. This one I can just throw in the washing machine when it gets dirty. Super easy to clean if I need to. Now, in the way of pockets, I think this one actually has too many pockets. There's a lot of pockets on here that are kind of interesting shapes. There's, I guess, pockets for your hands like this that I would never use. Um, there's all these pockets down here that are super useful, but they really need to be the right size pockets for what you want. Like I said, this pocket, this 
pocket up here is too big for this scale. If I use this, it's just going to fall out. And then these pockets down here are also too big because it'll fall down too far and then you can't get it out. So this is this pocket right here is really the only one that this will fit in without falling out or uh, getting lost in it. So you really want the right size pockets. So if you're using it in the shop, you do have these loops here, they can be useful, but most of the time I don't want to have a cordless drill on me or you know a big hammer hanging from my belt or my apron all the time if I'm in a shop setting. It's just kind of too clunky to walk around with, going to hit stuff and things with it. So for an apron that I'm wearing in the shop, I don't really like or I don't really need these loops all that often. They do come in handy from time to time. Uh, one thing that I, I do think is very important is you get one that fits well. This one, I can't. I would really like it to come up a little bit higher, like this, to, you know, to protect up here, and also so it would be a little bit higher up for me to be able to reach things. Um, it doesn't. You can't adjust it to be up like that. So, I would certainly look at how they're going to fit on you, depending on your body style. They're going to fit a little differently, and some may be better for you than other ones. So, those are the kind of things that I'd be looking for. What pockets does it have that you want? Obviously, a pocket for a tape measure. This pocket here is not the greatest for it, but you want a good pocket for a tape measure. That's something you're always going to be carrying and then whatever else you think you might be using from day to day. There you have it. If you don't have an apron and you're working in a shop all day, I'd highly recommend that you go out and get one, at least try it out. One thing I will say is it does take a little while to get used to it. I started hanging this up at the entrance to my shop and tried to make sure that I put it on every time I walked into the shop, and then I found it a lot more useful. Um, if I didn't wear it all the time, I would end up not using the stuff that was on it. I would go try and find things without realizing that I already had one on me. So it just takes a little while to get used to it. And now I love having it on all the time. I love having all my stuff right in front of me, right on me. It's great to, to have. It makes my life a lot easier. Thanks for watching.